It's stacked, absolutely, totally stacked this week on the EMVN show. Yeah, we've got things like the world's lightest e-bike. We've got a lot of troublemakers getting in on the act. And there's tons of e-bike racing news. But first up, uh, do you know there's a new V10 on the market, oh, man? I love an e-bike V10. Yeah. Santa Cruz finally in the e-bike yeah. game. Check this out. The hell is that? <laughs> it's not a v the V10. It's the new V10. Oh, well, it's disgusting. Well, Santa Cruz obviously can a dude come out with a new e-bike, and there <laughs> it is. <laughs> Bars too scared on it. <laughs> you know what? There's someone who rides around our local town on one of them. Really? Yeah. What, poor Talbot? Yeah. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Wow. I mean, but you look like a total idiot. Not my cup of tea, Martin, not my cup of I've tea. I've got to be honest, that's not e-biking, although he was on a skate park just then, that's good. I think maybe we got that's a good. bit distracted there, so let's get on yeah. to the real e-bike stuff. Let's get on with the show, that's not let's real e-biking. Right, let's start off with a little bit of uh, e-bike racing news. Now, there seems to be races popping up all over the world at the minute. Uh, in May is going to be the first endurance race in Finale. Finale, 24 hours, and there's an e-bike class on Friday the 18th, and it begins at five o'clock. Uh, teams of three riders from five o'clock till, well, I guess it's a six hour, six hour race. So who can do the most amount of runs in that time? There's a closed park Fermi, so yeah. you can't go sneakily charging your batteries <laughs> up. And uh, yeah, this looks like a great event, but I tell you what, the yeah. promo looks yeah. a bit interesting. Yeah, this is, a, your bit, thoughts this on is this? a bit weird, Steve. I don't know why Jerome Clements is dressed as a caveman. Is that Jerome Clements? He looks a lot like Jerome Clements. Uh, He's got a beard like you, Martin. I guess it's like the invention of the wheel and the invention of the battery and hey presto, we've got e-bikes, but now we've got this fantastic race series. Yeah. I guess that's where no, we're going No, it's not a series, this. this is a one-off. One-off so race. One-off race. One-off race. 18th of May, so uh, wow. teams of three, get yourselves down to finale. It's the first ever endurance race in in that town. It does look cool. Okay, racing news, and we're gonna start with this six round series that's kicking off with Pietro Lagura, 150 riders, great looking event, and apparently the man behind it knows his stuff. He does indeed, Martin. Now, uh, Franco Monchero is one of the guys, he's the key man responsible for Super Enduro and yeah. also in World Enduro in Italy. Right. Uh, a really important figure when it comes to Enduro racing, and he quit that to start off Wow. E Enduro and it's sponsored by Specialized and like you said it's a six round series it's mm. in his second year I think this is a really exciting yeah, series 150 riders it's not bad isn't it no. in that in that um, entry you've got Marco Fontana's wife is riding the class <laughs> and also Giovanna Bonazzi an ex World Cup downhill wow yeah, that is a name names. from long past <laughs> yeah. wow she's incredible yeah so Steve how do they stop people like de-restricting the bikes what are the rules like how it's, it's difficult to manage an e bike race. It is. I've always wondered this, but uh, at the at the event on the weekend, what they have, they have set rollers located mid-track. So riders get on bikes on the rollers and the organizer gives them a spin to see whether it doesn't go beyond that 25 kilometers uh, an hour road. Because that's a see. key part of e-bike racing. You know, like, yeah. It needs to maintain its integrity. Yeah, you? absolutely. You've got to manage your battery use, yeah. uh, how much power you've got there. Uh, but I get really scared when you put the bike on the rollers. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, come on, dude, you must have found out the, the yeah. de restriction by now. You're don't, wasting my battery. Don't want to waste that battery. Oh, my God, that would yeah. do my nutting. So, yeah, great race series. We're looking forward to seeing more of that in the future. So, from outside to an indoor series oh. in Italy. Check this out. I like the look of Electric this. Electric BMX. So, so. EBX Racing. EBX Racing. What is this all about? So, Electric Bike Cross, again, a six round series in Italy. God, the Italians are really they going They're loving it. it. <laughs> They're loving it. Bring it on. Yeah, uh, so there's three classes. You have Pedal Assist, which is pretty much what this channel is all about. Yes. Then you have another class, which is Throttle Assist. And then, the, and then the third one yeah. is All Out, Guns Out. You can do what you want. Do kind what of, you like. Yeah, you can have as but you, much but, power as you want. So you could have a throttle bike. <laughs> you could be on a really powerful pedalless yeah, bike. Yeah. That is crazy. And they call that last category mental. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. No, I, I love that. 
Oh, that's your name for it. Even better. Steve's, re Steve's renamed it, but I, I Pan assist, what. throttle assist, and mental. Yeah. I mean, that's it, isn't it? I mean, I want to see that series. I really do. I want to, because that would really be cool, wouldn't it? To see how, um, we're always talking about pedal assist, throttle, you know, that's a bit of a complication for how people understand e-bikes. Yeah. To see the racing in different aspects like that would be wicked. Yeah. That would be really cool. And I mean, you get to stay out of the rain. Yeah, but it can't go wrong, can you? Yeah. E-bike and out the rain. Yeah, electric bike cross. Any more race news, Steve? Yeah, like I said, it's absolutely stacked with racing. Closer to home, yes. up in Mid Wales in the weekend, a WOR event. And uh, look at this from Dave Macklin, who came in third place. Right. Check out the top. Running the colours. Running the colours. Love it. Good Love work, Dave-o. Good work, keep it hey, coming. wait a second. Is that EMBN's first podium? Oh, crikey. Dave, what have you done? Dave, we're gonna have to send Dave something for that. Yeah, maybe we should send him a hat or something. He's our first podium rider. Yeah. But Dave. I think the message here is uh, keep coming with all your results and wherever in the world you are. That's, that's for Dave. Dave, there's your hat. Whoa. That was a pretty good throw. I landed right on his head. Troublemakers, Martin. Oh. Troublemakers on e-bikes this week. Now, oh. this guy in Sweden was caught by the police doing 100 kilometers an hour, and the police said that he did not have suitable brakes or frame on his bike. I'm just thinking whether the Swedish police are gonna be marking e-bikes at a 10 in the future. Well, yeah. Uh, however, he's going to be um, up in court for charged with um, gross and lawful driving and negligence in traffic. So mm. the bike he was riding was 4,000 watts. Now, that's, that's six, a lot. That's 16 times more powerful than the e-bikes <laughs> we ride on this channel. So oh my God. I'd imagine he's gonna be in a spot of bother, I guess. Yeah, but surely he's, he's being had for just speeding in general, because that's too fast no matter what you're in, isn't it? I mean, that's yeah. 100 kilometers an hour, it's too quick. Um, so I think he's probably been done for that. So I think connecting this too much to like e-bikes is a bit unfair because that's not an e-bike. Not really. I think it, what you yeah, exactly. This, the big yeah. question here is what is it? Is it a moped hmm. or is it actually illegal on the road full stop? But oh. you know, again, it brings in questions, you know, which which to do with e-biking and access in general, doesn't it? So yeah. that you know, th those kind of bikes on the trails, mm. huge amount of erosion, sixteen times more powerful, Martin. So yeah, I I think this one's a bit misleading because it's just like bad press for e-bikes because they've been connected to e-bikes, but this is a very very fast moped yeah or, or a motorcycle i mean just this doesn't come into the realms of what we're talking about on embn it's like we're talking about pedal assist mountain bikes that are super high tech and and using e-bike technology to do something really good and this is like nuts well there are a lot of people out there making homemade bikes i think the funny part of this story is the yes. police said we don't know how to rate it i mean they, they, they've, <laughs> seized, they've seized the bike can you imagine the police they're gonna be going what on earth is this and they're gonna be having the time of their lives saying it this is crazy yeah and i think the only way they could have tested it is they've got on it in the police car park and ridden it round and i bet they all had smiles on their faces <laughs> yeah it needs a 200 mil rotor it needs a shorter stem yeah, you can see where it's gonna yeah, go yeah absolutely. the question here though martin is when does something like that become, yes. become a bike like this yes which is a which is not you know it's a, it's a homemade it's bike already it's already on its way to motorcycle yeah. and then you take that to this which is from lombok <laughs> in indonesia <laughs> look at Again, that thing insane amount of power yeah like insane this is a homemade job as well yeah and then where where do you draw the line between that and an all-out electric bike from ktm well i mean i mean yeah tricky it's, ground it's, isn't it? once you go off down that chute uh, the word electric is very misleading because mm. it starts putting bikes in a bracket that just don't belong together exactly um and uh, <laughs> i think as much as funny as these stories are they are not yeah. great press for e-bikes it's, it's quite you, quite frustrating did you, you look on the internet i've seen this guy with a thirteen thousand watt bike right yes he's got like 120 mil rotors with a 180 mil stem Inadequate brakes, inadequate chassis, yeah. the whole thing is bonkers. And he's doing like 90k an hour down a British road. Can you imagine? And that's just asking for trouble, if you ask me. Yeah, bonkers. Troublemakers, like we said. Mm. Sort it out. Is this the world's lightest e-mountain bike? 14 and a half kilos, wow. 425,000 rubles. It's got a 345 watt hour motor and it's a hub drive. Well, this is quite an interesting design, Martin. Yeah, um, 
obviously they've got all of the batteries in the tubing. Yeah. So that's why they've got this sort of strange seat arrangement. Because there's nowhere else for the seat yeah. to go, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And and I've, like you said, it's a rear hub drive motor. So it's not like new tech. Not new it's tech. It's kind of like what's going on is that basically the frames become a battery. It's a titanium frame. Yeah. yeah. Quite some interesting other bits on it. You've got a downhill crank set yeah. and brakes on it. Yet yeah. It's got like 150, 180 rotors, so there's a bit of a contradiction there. But yeah, 14 and a half kilos for a hardtail. Yeah. I mean, it's light. I can see what they're doing with it, but does it light my fire? Mm, I'm not sure I get too excited when I look at it. And I need to look, I need to feel excitement when I look at a bike. It's certainly different. We'll give them that. It looks a lot like the 1990s to me. <laughs> but anyway, light, move, light move, it is. Moving on. Okay, well, this is from Michane. Michane, uh, Michane would be Welsh. Uh, <laughs> this, these are guys in Venice in Italy, and this is the Hermes e-bike. It um, looks like a giant skateboard, Steve. <laughs> Funnily you should say that, it is actually designed and made by professional skateboard manufacturers, That's laminated sick. timber, 500 watt motor, upside down uh, forks. It's very cool, I'm not sure about that rear linkage. But it's definitely a nice idea. Hermes, great name, isn't it? Hermes. Um, Hermes is the god of travellers. So uh, Hermes, maybe that's like his cousin, the god of e-bikes. Ah, get the astrologer. Astrologer's not the right word. <laughs> It'll do. <laughs> right, so Martin, we just looked at the Hermes bike. Yes. Now, this bike has just travelled from Miami to San Francisco. Underneath Giampaolo Imbriani. What an epic journey. He went through Florida, Louisiana, Texas, wow. Alabama, Mississippi, New Mexico, distance. Colorado, Utah, Arizona, Nevada, and fellow California. That is unbelievable. Two, I was just as you were saying that, I was thinking of the like the journey. I'm like, oh my god, that's such a long way. It's wet, it's hot, it's massive <laughs> journey. Yeah. 2421 kilometers. Fair play. I mean, Fair that play. is what a legend doing that. He had three yeah. batteries. And he was towing a little cart. He was pretty kitted up for this for this epic. So um, yeah. yeah, good on you, Gianpaolo. That's uh, quite a massive achievement. At the minute, just heard from him. He's gone to Japan and he's hitchhiking back to Venice. Hey Steve, do you think he's misunderstood the Where in the World title of this section? Oh, we haven't got Where in the and World. And he's and he's like doing Where in the World. Like he's just going to go everywhere in the world. No, that's what he is going to do. So just pointing out, if you know, so from Miami up to Miami up to uh, San Francisco. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And now he's and now he's over like to Japan. Like I said, he's over in Japan now, and he's hitchhiking back home to Venice. Fair play. That is good on you, Gianpaolo. A Where in the World winner. Right, and we're into Ghetto Tech. Love Martin, it. I'm gonna let you guess what's going on here. This is from Mike Barnard in York. Okay. What's um, happening here? Uh, the bars are upside down. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I've it, got it. Yeah. This Perspex piece yeah. has been added, the white Perspex piece has been added so that the mic can stop his display getting hit when he puts his bikes up. So you got it, you got it. Yeah. There you go, if you I scroll down, there you go. He's made this himself. And I think it's a neat touch actually. Machined it all out. It's very nice. Yeah, because that's quite a vulnerable part of an e-bike, oh. especially when you're washing the bike. And bikes, that is yeah. the worst. When you smack a display as big as that one on the Bosch mm. motor, you are gutted. Yeah. So that so, is a really clever idea. Yeah, any more ghetto tech, get in touch. Uh, we'll get them on the show. Well, Martin, it's great to have you back. I meant to mention that at the beginning of the show. <laughs> Beard and all. Come oh, on, come on, stop your giggling. Let's get straight into the bike vault. Steve, you ready? First step, oh, Wicklow in Ireland. I oh. love this image. Oh. It's got everything to me. I think this is a huge, super nice to start. It's, yeah, no messing about. You can't no get, you messing can't get around. much nicer than that. I don't that. think you can. Uh, Adrian Van... Don't rush. Sorry, mate. You're rushing. I clicked the wrong button. Adrian Van Der Lee in Wicklow. Thanks, yeah. Adrian. Like Definitely super nice for you over there. Big super nice to start. Ooh. Frank Jensen in Denmark. Well, I tell you what, Steve, the colours are a little bit of a problem for me. They're a bit garish. A bit garish. A lot of red and orange. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do like a giant. I do like well, a giant. you say that. Weren't you mm. pulled up a button having enough giants on the bike previously? 
on the actual bike vault on GMB and I did, but I, I mm. like Giants. Yeah. I've always liked it. It's a Yamaha PWX motor in there. Really yeah. nice motor. I yeah. like that. A it's lot. a good looking bike. Yeah. It's nice. Okay. It's a nice yeah. bike. Yeah. It's yeah. nice. Well, bike. you're Frank the boss Je of the vault. Frank Jensen. Frank. Self self appointed. Although we do have a bike oh vault. Oh my god, I just production I'm, manager. Do you know what? Oh, I've fine. just noticed that picture has got carving in the tree. That is not going to help in the judging of super nice or nice. But the name is Mark Sasha McGee from Munich. Munich. Mark Sasha McGee from Munich. I think that is nice. I'm not sure where the colour of the water in the water bottle. I reckon it's all that's a, a bit black washed, water It's all a bit washed out. Isn't it? That's the photography. It's a nice that one. It's nice. Sorry, Mark. Sorry. Do, do appreciate the tree though. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Martin Jones. Now, you tell you what, now an original an original bike vault photo, this, because it's got the bike profile, then you've got the trail leading away, which tells you a bit of the story of the day. This, Steve, is a super nice bike vault photo. Your, That's what this is. You're mental. Look at it. Look at that. You're mental. Well done, Honestly, Martin Jones. you are mental. Next up, another giant. Another giant. Come on. Oliver, Oliver Dibdal. Luck. Oliver Dibdal in Norway. Scandinavians Sus. love their e-bikes, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know we watched a video recently of a couple of kids riding in the snow on e-bikes and mm. it really made me think, oh, that looks like so much fun. And I, now I see an e-bike in snow, I'm just like, yes, get on it, let's mm -hmm. do it. And what about the bike, nice or super nice? Well, I'd like to know what you think, Steve. Oh, you're loading it on me now, right fair. I think it's super nice. I love the, the color nice. coordination on that, super nice. <laughs> Look at that, Yeah, love it. Right, next up. Oh, we well, jump one. too I far. Jump one. Go back to high bike. Oh, yeah. Hey, do you know what's interesting there? Ollie Kolomainen. Oh, That's got to be yeah. another Scandinavian shot. That's got a, a electronic shock on it. Oh, it's, oh, oh, I, That's got an EI shock on it, that bike has. Is that likely? No, it, no it's not likely. It's definitely. Hmm, interesting. Ollie, yeah, I need to get in touch with you about that. Uh, for now, I think that's a nice. Uh, Rich. Rich from Brecon. Brecon. Oh, fair dues, Rich. That's a beautiful backdrop. Yeah. Huh? Brecon is amazing, isn't it? I think Britain this time of year, with the colour, where it's not too overgrown, is a yeah. Yeah. great, great and images. The, and the Brecon beacons are like nuts. Close good. to your heart, Martin. Oh, I love it. Love it there. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. a super nice for me. Just, just because me, Steve, me and Steve had a bit of a like, you know, Wales moment there. Yeah. You know, so. We can appreciate oh, it. Oh, look we? at this. Lizard on the rock. <laughs> this is uh, San Juan Capistrano in California. Yeah, yeah, with a lizard in the background. It's nice. I tell you, the high bikes get around the world, don't they? They do, don't they? Indonesia, Bracken, yeah, they do. California, spreading e-bike love. And that's a lizard on the rock. That's got to be super nice, right? It's nice. All right. It's nice, Steve. Hey, look, Steve. Look at this one. It's Scotty D in Coaching Creek in Queensland. Coaching not Coaching Creek. I think it's coaching. Yeah. Where the coaching hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the bike, Steve? Um, I think the image doesn't do it justice, to be honest. I think it's, it's just it's a, a nice good point. Although I am beautiful imagining, bike, obviously. I'm imagining a crocodile about to burst out of that a croc, water. A croc in the cocking creek? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be, innit? Gotta be. It's nice. Okay. It's nice. Could have done more with that bike. We're out. We're out of the bike vault. We're out. We're out. It's the end. We're out. Oh, it's good. I'm good. I'm good. I could I, dive in you know there what? all day long. I do like the bike vault. Yeah, it is great. And don't forget to send your bikes into the e-bike vault. We love seeing them. We're going to dive in there. And you might be featuring in this bit of the show with your bike and getting a super nice. You can only do it by sending your bikes in to hello at embn.com. So don't forget. Um, Steve, what are you looking forward to this week? Oh, we've got some crackers coming up this week, Mart. Uh, how to ride wet cambers. Yes. Or how to be humiliated in the mud, basically. <laughs> and also, there's another one coming up on how to choose the correct size e-bike for you. Nice. And you can stay with us now on EMBM by clicking there to see our Uplift versus e-bike video, which is an absolute cracker. It is. It's controversial, but yes. it's definitely out there. Check it out. Um, click on the globe to subscribe and make sure you give us a thumbs up like. We'll see you next week.